Welcome back to Cake With It. I'm your host, Jerry Tapia, Cake Master. And I'll show you how to make cakes from start to finish. Amazing cakes, I'll blow your mind out. So I can't wait for you and all the other cakers. <laughs> cakers? That's why I'm single. Have all the other cakers try to replicate some of these cakes and can't wait to show you today's special cake. I am so, so tired. I was mining for days, trying to find gold. It was worth it. I found something and I have it. And it was worth it. So I found 24 carats, yeah, all on my own, 24 carat gold cake, the third episode of Cake With It, and we already have gold cake, made with 24 baby carrots, and I think I deserve them, yeah, it's mine. I like how gold tastes. <laughs> For this one is simple. Begin by baking any size cake that you want or brick of gold. Next, of course, soak your cakes in simple syrup. And again, you could do one cup of sugar, one cup of water. You boil that, let it cool, and that's your syrup. Next, you want to buttercream your cake. And for the filling, I did a cream cheese buttercream, and it's just a basic buttercream that you add cream cheese to it, powdered sugar, and butter. You can use any filling you'd like, or find one online. Next, I'm going to trim some of the top of the cake to make sure it's leveled, and then I'm going to slowly carve out the edges kind of give it a tapered look what a gold brick or gold bar would have and you want to do that to both sides carefully and then next I'm going to repeat what I did on the side to taper it on the edges of the cake to make sure the top is a smaller rectangle than the bottom kind of like a pyramid And then next, I'm gonna use my level, is that serious, to make sure the whole cake is flat and leveled. And you can get one of these at a hardware store for about $2, so they're not expensive, and you just double check to make sure everything is even. Once I'm sure everything's complete, then I will crumb coat my gold bar cake and chill. And next, I'm gonna start on my coin cake. And this cake, I am not gonna sandwich in buttercream. I'm just gonna cover it in buttercream. The same buttercream I used for the carrot cake to give it a nice crumb coat. And I'm gonna trim off the top just to make sure everything's flat and even. That way we don't have a wrinkly coin. We have a nice, flat, smooth coin. And then I'm gonna chill it along with the bar cake. This is really heavy for a cake. <laughs> and you know what time is it? Chill time. Let's go chill. Chill. And chill your cake. You chill your cake or else it would not look this perfect. So don't forget to chill and you chill. I need a different dance. <laughs> now for my gold bar cake. I'm going to give it a final coat of, coat of buttercream and I'm going to slowly smooth out the edges so that I don't have a sharp edge bar. It's actually like a gold bar where it has a smooth rounded edge. Next I want to mimic the gold color on the fondant 
So I'm going to grab yellow food coloring and add that to the fondant. But I'm going to also add black food coloring or black fondant that I had it colored before. I need it so I get less of a high, high lighter yellow. I'm going to use cornstarch. I don't like using powdered sugar to roll out fondant. And then I'm going to measure it with Mr. Ruler to make sure I have enough to cover the whole entire cake in one piece. Then I'm going to grab my fondant smoother and smooth out the edges. And there's a benefit to using the fondant smoother because you'll have a nice, clean, smooth look versus a lumpy look with fondant. And then I'm going to use a sharp X-Acto knife to trim the edges. I decided to draw a carrot with my fondant tools because it's a carrot cake and it's a gold brick. So gold block. I decided to draw a carrot to show what's really on the inside. I use cookie cutters but these are letter cutters just so everything looks even and I'm gonna use two and four for the 24 and then carrot but you can obviously put anything you want on yours. I decided that for my cake, I was gonna airbrush it because it'll be a lot more evenly distributed. So I use edible gold food coloring and an airbrush and with even stroke brush around the cake. Next, I'm gonna roll out the fondant for my gold coin. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did to the brick. I'm gonna roll it out, cover the fondant and then use a very sharp exacto knife to trim around the edges and use my fondant smoother so I could get a smooth surface. So, I'm still eating it. I used gold airbrush color, but you can also use this technique with luster dust and you get food grade alcohol and you mix it with the luster dust and then you brush it onto the cake but I felt like airbrushing it would have been easier for me. But either way, you could go both routes with this airbrush or luster dust. To make the ridges around the coin, I'm going to use another fondant tool and just press it and make even strokes. Next, I'm going to use Mr. Ruler again, and I'm going to measure out three quarters of an inch in height. I'm going to cut them into these strips. I want them to be three quarters of an inch because I'm going to slice them later on and that's going to be going around the top of the coin. Next, I'm going to grab that strip and cut it into one quarter inch pieces. I'm going to grab the another piece of fondant that I rolled and I decided I wanted to draw a piece of cake for the coin. So I'm going to use my fondant tool and I'm going to roughly sketch out a design. So I wanted a piece of cake and I just eyeballed it to see how it came out. And then I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and gently and carefully cut around my design. And I'm going to use that. Next, I'm going to lay all the fondant pieces around the cake clockwise and then I'm going to put this small piece of cake on the center and I'm going to use my fondant smoother to taper and smooth out the edges that way when I airbrush it it has a fused look to it. I'm going to use my same letter cutters I used before and I decided to go with cake with it. 2017 to celebrate the start of this cake channel. And then finally, you used water 
or piping gel to glue the letters to the cake. And I decided to put cake straight right underneath the cake design. And then I'm gonna put with it a round coin to mimic other coins that have lettering that go around the coin. And finally, before we finish this cake, I'm gonna airbrush it and again, smooth, even stroke so it's evenly shiny and there's no one spot that's more shiny than the other. So you wanna take your time on this. Also, you wanna airbrush underneath the letters and on the side of the cake. That way it gives the cake a fused look. And there you have it, a gold coin and a gold bar. And it looks real and it's shiny. It doesn't even look like a cake. So don't forget to share this video, subscribe and like. Help us get to all the subscribers we need. And I can't wait to show you the next cake. I want to see eventually people try to replicate some of the cakes. And I know, come on, I know you want some. Alex, I know you want some. I know you want some. Um, have some. I think I'll cut a piece later.